You want to hear something sick? What? You know the dude up in South Carolina that just went on trial? The he killed his uh, wife and son? Yeah. That Alex... Uh, Murdoch. Mur- Murdoch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Murdoch. Yeah. Murdoch. 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 Yeah, because I... It, it, people pronounce it 19 different ways, but I was trying to hear it in my head because when he uh, said his name on the stand, he said, uh, Alex... I don't, I, I don't even said Alex. I think he said like Alec. Alec. And then he said, it's Murdoch. Murdoch. So Murdoch. He, that's how he pronounced it. But it looks like a murder. The way it's spelled and the way yeah, it's Guess sound. what? You can't spell murder without this guy's last name. But let me tell you what's sick. I saw a story over the weekend that the guy is getting dozens of love letters in prison. I, oh, I hate that. Oh, my God. These sicko groupie. Like uh, like serial killer groupie fans or these murderer, these sicko, psycho fans that are out there. What the hell? What woman is sending this Alex Murdoch guy love letters in prison? Convict. Listen to this. Alex Murdoch has received scores of love letters from behind bars, including one from a woman who gushed that she's become obsessed with the convicted killer. The notes were included in 86 pages of emails sent to the fallen South Carolina legal scion since he was sentenced last month to two life terms in prison for killing his wife, Maggie, 52, and his son, Paul, 22, in June of 2021. Did you see the the Netflix series, A Southern Scandal? Yes. You I did to, not. You, you should talk, watch that. You want to talk about a family where they believe the law did not apply to them. Yeah, well... It's these guys. Well, during the trial, it was said that they, they own the county, that... Well, even... The the relative... The, the 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 ancestors were, you know, started the county, essentially, where they were, like, the prosecutors for, like, the last century. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you want to talk about someone being heartless. When that girl died on during the boating accident, which, when his son was the driver, right. he was so heartless dealing with the aftermath of that. You could tell he just didn't care one bit about that. Also, wasn't allegedly there's some money that he pocketed, like millions of dollars in some kind of settlement money that was supposed to go to... Dude, he scammed oh, so yeah. The guy oh, was yeah. like a major... That was a separate incident. Yeah, he's a scam artist. Yes, he murdered his wife and kid. How do you murder your wife and kid? Now, I will tell you something. I, listen, I know it's unacceptable, but I know that there are crimes of passion where a wife murders a husband, a, a husband murders a wife. But how do you murder your son? I, I know a guy who lives in that area, and he's he's a doctor up there, and he knows obviously everybody there knows that family up in Chachu in South Carolina. In South Carolina, okay. and he said that a lot of people believe, and there's a lot of reason to believe that he Alex didn't kill his hus- his his wife and son but rather the cartel did. Now, he was probably there when it happened, or maybe the cartel well, forced him to, but that's how involved he is. In wasn't bad- that part of the defense? Weren't they trying to put that? I saw just bits and pieces, but I know some people watching the whole damn thing. But, I mean, I'm talking about the sickos, the women. He's getting dozens of l- scores of love letters from women that are, like, sexually attracted to this murderer yeah, guy. Yeah, he's awful. Listen, Listen to this. Listen to this. I'm almost tempted to write you something erotic, says an April 13th email. She begged the convicted killer for a reply. I think I've become obsessed with you. I don't care what you've done. Can you please respond? Mr. Murdoch, just one little hi. Danielle, a Las Vegas resident, sent him more than one dozen messages. On April 11th, she wrote, I'm constantly thinking about you. I cannot stop. I love you. Another fawning fan boasted to Murdoch. That she looked like actress Jessica Biel. Yeah, baby. I was compared to Jessica Biel yesterday at the gym. What a compliment. She's so athletic and fit, said Katie Marie of Boston. I look like a beauty queen contestant. These women, these women are attracted to him. Listen, the woman from Boston that thinks she looks like uh, uh, Jessica Biel wrote that be wary of other women who are after him or, 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 or after you. Yeah, I'm the one for you. I'm the Jessica Beale lookalike. What the heck? 
It's, it's unbelievable. Like Scott, what was the guy's name? Scott Peterson? That all the... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's another one. Scott he Peterson. Gets, he still gets love letters. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. Like... yeah, here's another one. That, Kate, this, Katie is Katie, Mar- this is Katie Marie's yeah. quote. Katie Marie, who warned Murdoch to beware of other women who don't have sincere intentions, she writes, if they're acting like they want you, they're just hoping you have money or will put them on the map, cautioned uh, this, uh, this Katie Marie. Yeah, she's the Jessica Biel lookalike, so she says. Hmm. Probably looks like large Marge from the. Uh, <laughs> she's delusional, more... so she's probably delusional about Listen, how she looks, too. Little... Tell them large Marge sent you. <laughs> a, a little more background about Katie Marie. She yeah. can relate to Alec Mur- right. Murdoch. Yeah, she's, Murdoch. she said that they're probably just hoping you have money or we'll put them on the map, said the Boston native who said she spent 18 months in prison for selling heroin. Yeah, so she understands prison oh. life. Mm-hmm. She knows. for each other. <laughs> But I just don't get It's unbelievable. These women that are like mass murderer or murderer or serial killer groupie women, what the hell's wrong with them? There's like some sort of fetish with like. So weird. Hey, Ugh. just out of curiosity, yeah. are you a mass murderer or serial killer groupie chick? Uh, call us right now. Right. 800 990 1047. Have you ever written yeah. a letter to a. An awful, awful, awful yeah. killer in death row. Yeah. Explain the attraction. Yeah. Have, have you been obsessed and d- did you want to uh, sleep with the son of Sam? Uh, call us, 800-990-1047. Or the clown guy up in Chicago, uh, John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> what about Ted Bundy? Uh, uh, Are you yeah. writing a letter to Bundy? Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer. What about that? Yeah, what about Jeffrey Dahmer? I think Gacy was yeah, into... You ever say, Jeffrey, eat my liver? You know? All right, 800-990-1047. Or did you know anyone? Have you ever known anybody... That was obsessed with like a serial killer. What was that, Froggy? No, I I, I was just saying, um, I forgot. All right, 800. <laughs> eight, between you and I, we suck today, Froggy. 800-990-1047 if we have any like groupies that love these uh, these sicko guys in prison. 800-990-1047. Listen, I don't expect that. Nobody's, yeah, that would be insane if somebody so, called. During our, uh, when we did the podcast, before we got back to the MJ Morning Show, yep. I wrote a letter to uh Jennifer Me, the hiccup, oh, that's what the I'm hiccup girl who's who's serving a life sentence. Yeah, she's the hiccup girl. My wife got and I put my I gave her my address as a return address. My wife lit me up for giving my address to a Yeah. To a I killer, would too. To a person serving life. She's well, gonna, she's our friend. So she's gonna sell it for drugs and we're gonna get killed. Jennifer Me was the hiccup girl right. who was right here in St. Pete. Yeah. And she couldn't stop hiccuping. We were the first media outlet that uh, told her story, had her on the air. Subsequently, the Today Show had her on. All the local channels they were coming to our studio to get footage. Right. So if if you, when they were showing uh, stories about her history when she was on trial for murder, uh, because she didn't kill anybody, but she was part of a drug deal that went bad. And you get and everybody gets the charge. Everyone gets hit. So she's serving a life sentence. The hiccup. Oh my God! Cassandra is in Largo. Oh no! Oh, no. hang on a minute. Now was she obsessed? Cassandra in Largo. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning, guys. So I just had a comment about the serial killer. My old boss Harley uh, was obsessed with all of them. Had tattoos of all of their uh, mug shots. We. Whoa! whoa was Har- wait, wait, wait. Was Harley a man or a woman? Harley was a man. Okay, because I also knew a Harley that was a female. So wait a minute, Harley. Like Harley Quinn. Ha- yeah. Harley, your male boss was obsessed with male serial killers and had tattoos of them. Him and his wife. Oh so my much god! To the point that we were invited to a party at their house, and they had like a game room with all just types of memorabilia, and they had jars of dirt on the wall. And I'm like, why do you have jars of dirt? Because why? They traveled to where these serial killers live. And would take dirt from the yard and bring it home. What the? That's really? Insane. Oh that my god. god! That's a mental issue. Well, <laughs> now, did, yeah, did Harley write love like letters? A whole shelf full of jars of dirt. Did Harley go as far John as to write Wayne love Casey, letters? As a matter of fact, the first time they went, they didn't get enough dirt, so they had to go back a second time. Hey, can you hear Fester's mic? Fester, talk. Hey, did your friends write uh, love letters to these guys while they were incarcerated? No. I, I don't think so, right. but I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> That's crazy. They were obsessed. What a couple of nuts. Yes. They're probably going to kill somebody someday. <laughs> All right. Is Harley a man <laughs> or a woman? Past we past already past asked that. that. I don't know. I, they won't. All right. Well, I don't, she already said it's a man. All right. So, Cassandra, do you know the serial killer tattoos that they had? Can you name some of them? 
Um, he had John Wayne Gacy. He had, I forget the guy's name, who used to wear the women's skin. He oh, that was Ed, Ed Gein. Did he have Ed Kemper? Uh, no, not him. Yeah, Ed, what about Ed Jim Gein. Dunn? Ed Gein was uh, up in Wisconsin, and Ed he. Gein. Yep, Ed Gein, the old yeah. farmer. Yeah, <laughs> who, who'd you ask, yeah. Roxanne? Uh, Jim Gum. Oh, um, from, that was Buffalo Bill. That was based on, I think, yeah, Ed Gein yeah, actually. Buffalo yeah. Bill. Yeah. Yes. Uh, hey, Cassandra, yeah, thanks for the. Crazy. Thank you, Cassandra. No problem. Have a great, great day, guys. You too. Look at that. You too. So uh, once removed, but got a call. Her ex boss. Wow. Dude, that's creepy. Sand. Husband and wife at the serial killers by going to. Hey, honey, let's go on vacation. Yeah, we're gonna go to John Wayne Gacy's house and we're gonna take some dirt from the front yard. <laughs> My God. 